And so, yeah, I mean, Hastings Town Centre is very down the hill. It's, it's the entrance into our, our fantastic town of Hastings where the visitors get off the train station. They come down Havelock Road, they're in town centre. And it's just very, there's a very disjointed feel um, about the town centre. Uh, you know, it's like a sort of patchwork of buildings in various states some in disrepair. It would be fantastic if there was just like, you know, millions put into the town centre to spruce up all the fronts. If there was some sort of unifying theme that ran through all the different fronts. Obviously you could be individual, um, but if there was some sort of signature theme that really, you know, this is Hastings. Uh, be brilliant if all of this could be greened up, an avenue of trees coming down. It's like a sort of archery from the train station. Well, the archery, you green see archery them down. Down. This needs to be pedestrianised, 100%. Like, I don't know why we still have this bus route, taxi route going. It is convenient, but I think there is, it's totally possible to, to reroute this. Um, this whole area needs to be pedestrianised. The paving is just, it's really sad. You know, we've got this where paving stones have been taken out. It's in, it's in such a sorry state. And if we had a nice sort of circular thing that they've done here, um, obviously it's, it's in a really poor state now, but you know, we could do something really spectacular with the paving that it sort of, you know, plays upon the, 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 our culture and also the amazing, you know, um, artistic elements of the town as well. You know, so Hastings has this fantastic creative um, community. Um, so it would be great if it reflected all of these amazing things that happen in the town. And, and as I was saying earlier about how Hastings was you know, originally a town built for um, tourism, for, for Victorian visitors to come down, and also a town to convalesce. So we're like, you know, we're, we're our foundations, if you like. Obviously, it goes back 1066 and it was a fishing town before then. But our foundations, really, most of the architecture is from that era where um, Victorians were coming down and having their holiday homes. Uh, and then also people come into convalesce if they were poorly. So these, this is really our roots and it would be great if we can develop that um, and really enhance our um, natural environment and make it more uh, accommodating for people who are visiting the town. So we've got fantastic seafront, you can get some more sort of blue activities on the go, you can hire uh, you know, bodyboards or surfboards or kayaks, uh, get people sort of more using the sea, the visitors I'm thinking, um, and then the country park. I, I, I'm sensing that the majority of tourists don't make it as far as the country park, but also the fantastic Coon Valley is very, most locals don't even use the Coon Valley either. So we've got, and, and, and then we've got Alexander Park just down there, and it's very disconnected again because of, I think, Queen's Road. Um, all these cars is re are really kind of like cutting into uh, you know, where people would, would wander. So there needs to be a green archery coming down from the train station, running all the way up to Queen's, Queen's Road to invite people into the fantastic Alexandra Park, uh, one of the highest densities of varieties of trees in the country. Old Wargill, how many tourists go to Old Wargill? I'm imagining not very many, but it's so fantastic in there. You know, it's all this ancient woodland in our town, more or less in our town centre. Um, so there, there, there needs to be more of a sort of green gateway, I feel, um, and so to enable people to explore all our fantastic natural environment. Um, and so, yeah, focusing on town centre is really um, would really give a boost to the whole town. Um, but I obviously have a, a, a keen interest in the more sort of uh, marginal parts of the town, such as Hollington, which I'm the councillor for. Uh, and there is a, a, a disconnect, I feel, between people who live in Hollington and the town centre. So it's, there's not, you know, there isn't, it's very hard for people to get from Hollington down here. The buses are not very good. Um, the, you know, once you get into town, there's, you know, the parking is, is expensive. So we need to sort of think about how we can make the town centre more inviting to people in Hollington um, and, and bring it all together as a whole. Thank you. <laughs>